Hi, I'm Joseph Rand with HomeBuyerTaxCredit.com, your leading resource for information about the HomeBuyer Tax Credit. Uh, we have a blog at HomeBuyerTaxCredit.com where we get a lot of questions from uh, people that visit the site, and a lot of them have to do with the income limitations uh, that are in place for the home buyer tax credit. In other words, how much can you make and still qualify for the home buyer tax credit? And a lot of people have a lot of misunderstandings about it because up until November uh, of 2009, the income limitations that were in place were fairly restrictive. Uh, you could only make up to $75,000 as a single taxpayer or $150,000 as a, as a uh, married couple filing jointly. Uh, those income limitations have been raised substantially to the point that they now cover most Americans. So what are they? Well, if you are a single taxpayer or you're a married couple and you file separately, you can make up to $125,000 to get the full tax credit you're entitled to. Now, these income limitations apply whether you're a first-time homebuyer or a long-time homeowner. So regardless of which tax credit you're trying to, uh, trying to claim, uh, you can make up to $125,000 uh, as a single or married couple filing separately. Now, if you're a married couple filing jointly, you can make up to $225,000. So $125,000 for singles, uh, $225,000 for couples, which does encompass most Americans. Now, if you make within $20,000 of those limits, so if you make up to $145,000 as a single or $245,000 as a married couple filing jointly, you can get what we call a partial tax credit. And the amount of your partial tax credit will depend on how far into that $20,000 phase out range your income is. So for example, let's say you're a single taxpayer and let's say that you're a first time home buyer and you'd be eligible for an $8,000 tax credit. And let's say that your income is $135,000. Now that's $10,000 above the $125,000 limit, but it's $10,000 into the $20,000 phase out range. So since you're $10,000 into the $20,000 phase out range, you'd be using up 50% of the phase out range and leaving 50% of the phase out range and you'd be entitled to a partial tax credit of $4,000. And that same principle applies if you're filing as a married couple filing jointly. The amount of your income within the phase out range determines your partial tax credit. Now the next question is, what income qualifies? Well, it's called your modified adjusted gross income. You can find it on your tax return, but the basic understanding of it is that it's what we think of as income. It's your salary. It's any commissions you make. It's your capital gains. It's wages. It's anything that we tend to think of as income that comes in would constitute your MAGI, uh, your modified adjusted gross income. But if you have any questions, if you're not sure, if you're on the cusp, if you're right at the border, you really should check with your accountant. And if you have any other questions about income limitations, feel free to post them at the Home Buyer Tax Credit blog, which you can find at homebuyertaxcredit.blog.com, or you can find it at homebuyertaxcredit.com uh, through the links. Uh, and also, there's lots of other things you can check out on the site. We hope you find those resources helpful. And always, before you make any decisions, check with your accountant. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.